He's still in that. It's Tom Cruise. It could be Lamar. Simon Webb, it's Lamar. The panel have made their pitch. Let's hope they won't catch me out. I said a hit. But now it's the finals. Grant and Phil. Phil and Grant. The Mitchells, Phil and Grant. I'm dedicated. Do you think I can go all the way? Or will I artfully dodge it? You'll be obliged to know I've mixed with hip hop royalty. Mixed with hip hop royalty, wow. And then Osha plays. The excitement of the competition. It takes me back 20 years or more. All I do is win. So I think they first became famous 20 years ago. Don't give it up. Time to win. Cause all I do is win, 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 win. Before the curtain falls. Put your hands in the air, make a fade Absolutely fantastic. You're amazing. Mo, how incredible was that? Oh, that was so good, man. That was absolutely a, an amazing rendition of a song that I love. But, like, you made it your own. The first clue I've seen in the clue package, you've worked with hip-hop royalty. One of your tracks has a sample from one of the biggest rappers in the world, which is uh, Jay-Z, a song called 50-50. I think it's still Lamar. <laughs> Davina McCall. I heard some clues that go with what you've been saying. The big one was obviously Grant and Grant. And we've oh, been talking yes. about Carrie and David Grant from mm -hmm. Fame Academy, oh, and that is Lamar. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Rob Bryden. If we're just talking about a performance by a cricket, backed by an orchestra of insects, conducted by a ladybird, <laughs> yes. that's the best I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> There was a tone to the voice that made me think of Eddie Grant. Yeah. Electric yes. Avenue, and there was Grant in the clues. Rita. I also went on the clues of hip-hop royalty. See, now, this name that I've been saying since I've met you, Cricket, supported Usher. That was playing in the VT. Oh, yeah. Fame Academy was probably 20 years yes. ago. It is 100% Lamar. Jonathan. I have to agree with both Mo and Rita. It is the brilliant Lamar, ladies and gentlemen. That's who's under Lamar. Do you need some more clues? Yes. yes OK, snuggle up, my friends, because someone very special is going to tell you a bedtime story. Oh. He's our very own Doctor Who's behind the mask. It's David Tennant. Ah. Hello, panel. My name's David. Welcome to Bedtime Stories. Let's begin. Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived Cricket. 
He loved playing cricket, but deep down he had a dream to sing with his idols, the famous Caterpillar's Child. One sunny day, while practicing his cricket skills, he heard a beautiful melody floating through the air. Curiosity sparked within him, and he followed the sound. To his amazement, he found Caterpillar's Child, rehearsing for a big concert. Cricket's heart raced with excitement. He plucked up the courage to approach them and share his dream of performing with them. They invited him to join them on stage for their concert that very evening. Cricket couldn't believe his luck. He had fulfilled his destiny. The end. Ah, did you find the clues? Yes, the reason why he got to take part in Fame Academy was because of one of those amazing things where you hear something, you go, you talk to somebody, they say, come on the show. I think there was something weird that happened with Lamar before he went on Fame Academy. Interesting. What an innings from cricket. We'll only know who's innings side when the mask comes off. Give it up for cricket, everyone. <laughs> Love you, cricket. You're amazing. This is turning into the Le Masked singer. Who do you think's behind Le Mask? To have got this far in the competition is quite frankly Le Marvelous. But have the panel cracked this cricket? 